Well, here's my aqua hot. I'm gonna get everything taken apart and try to fix the electric element in there, see what's wrong with it. So here's my aqua hot bay. This is after I've gotten everything taken apart. Uh, didn't have electric heat to it. So I got the manuals and downloaded it and figured out how to troubleshoot it. Um, this panel uh, connects up to here when you take it apart. Um, this is where the electric power comes in. Um, basically, the electric power, it runs through the high limit relay and then this relay down here. And then it connects to the element that's back here. So I did some tests and found out I had power coming in here. And if you do a continuity test, um, basically I wasn't getting anything going across that one, but I was on this one. So like I said, when I looked in the book and figured out which one was what, um, ordered a new relay. So it's kind of hard to get in here. Um, I'm just gonna have to take my word for it. I'm gonna take that apart and put the new relay in it and then I'm gonna test it and make sure it works. So I unhooked it. Um, this is the bad one. This is the good one. See if I can show a continuity check. So here's the bad one. Here's the good one. So I'll get the uh, good one in the hole all wired up and we'll make sure the element has uh, amperage form through it. Now I got the new one in there <clears throat> all ready to go. So I'm gonna go flick the breaker and then I'll come back and I'll do an amperage reading on here and make sure it's pulling the right amps. And it figures the neighbors mowing the yard when I try to do a video, but I, like I said, I got this aqua hot uh, manual off the internet and this is um, what it's saying that it should draw. Um, I did go down here and I did an ohm check and I was right around nine exactly, um, like 8.8, 8.9. Uh, 8 so I think the element's good. Um, the other thing is that when I do the power, I think um, at 11 amps, I'll be able to see it on my meter uh, in the bus too. So I'll do that here real quick. Well, here's my uh, amp panel. So when I hit it, um, you can see right here, I'm drawing 12 amps. Um, so I think everything works right. Uh, again, this is what uh, I should be getting. Uh, right around 12 is fine. I'll go out and verify that I'm getting that uh, at the Aqua Hot. Got my amp meter here. It's actually saying 14, um, but I guess we'll say it's okay. One last thing I'm gonna say is, you know, check and double check. Um, the coach, um, back in 2000, they labeled this breaker right there, the one that I've got blacked out as the Aqua Hot. It is indeed this one that was labeled spare. So I think probably um, the people that own this before me thought they were turning it off and they didn't. So I think it ran forever. So it probably blew out that high limit uh, switch that was in there. And that's why it never worked. It does work really well with the uh, diesel. Um, so it hadn't really mattered, but now I've got the electric. Um, hope this helps you guys. Uh, I'll show you a picture after it's all put back together. I was gonna show you why I've got everything apart. Um, usually, well, this is what goes out. It's the uh, fuel tip and they're only like 10 bucks, depending on where you get them. Uh, they go 
inside of this guy. All you do is you take, unloosen this bolt, there's one on the other side, and you flip these up. This whole thing pulls straight out, and then you kind of tilt it up, and then you can take uh, two wrenches and pull this out, stick another one in. So I've had, I've only had this for like four months, and I've had two of these um, clog up on me. I guess it's just bad fuel and stuff like that, but just thought I'd show you why this is open. I got that panel back in there. Um, gonna go ahead and put the rest of this together. All right, there she is all buttoned back up and I'll get the Prevo stuff back in for the converter stuff. And there it is, hold on, all my stuff in there. I keep the, uh, the hose in here, some gravity link lines, and got paper towels and the whole thing in there. So that's it. Got it all done.